What's up everybody and welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Thank you guys again so so much for joining me. Today we are playing a super janky Mardu combo deck and I think you guys are really gonna get a kick out of this one because it is like a cleric life gain deck mixed with like a combo kill so stick around if you want to see an awesome Mardu deck in action in standard Magic the Gathering Arena. So this deck is a really cool deck for a few different reasons. First of all, it can play like an aggro deck. It plays kind of like a control deck, and it also plays kind of like a combo slash mid-range deck. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Basically, we have a ton of options, and with all those options, it does make it so we have a very versatile game, but also it kind of spreads ourselves thin in three different directions instead of having like a streamlined plan. So you be the judge. Let me go and do a quick breakdown on the deck, then we'll get to some awesome gameplay. So as I mentioned, the deck plays kind of like an aggro deck so we have like a cleric's life gain kind of game plan here with speaker of the heavens luminarch aspirant cleric of life's bond elite spellbinder righteous valkyrie veto thorn of the dusk rose and we've got the namesake card here radiant scroll wielder which is a really cool strixhaven card this is a dwarf cleric it's a 2-4 for two colorless a red and a white mana it says instant and sorcery spells you control have lifelink which is really cool if you have a lot of spells that do damage also says at the beginning of your upkeep exile an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard and then you can cast it this turn. If you cast that spell, then you just have to exile it instead of returning it to your graveyard. So Radiant Scroll Wielder is such an important card in this deck, not only because it is a really cool dwarf cleric that basically has a lot of toughness, so it gains us some life off of Righteous Valkyrie, but also the ability to give our instant and sorcery spells lifelink is super crucial, especially in tandem with Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose, and these two combo off because Vito says whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. So you can definitely see the synergies between these two in that if we play something like a huge Perforos Intervention, Perforos's Intervention allows us to deal twice X damage to target creature or planeswalker, so we could do some massive damage to a creature. Not only that, we'll be gaining life with Radiant Scroll Wielder's ability, and then we'll also be zapping the opponent for that much. The other combo move here is, of course, if the opponent has a lot of creatures, or if we even have a lot of creatures, we just Storm's Wrath the board with Radiant Scroll Wielder and Veto, and every instance of four damage damage that Storm's Wrath does to all those creatures gains us 4 life and also drains the opponent for 4. So we could actually end up draining our opponent for a ton with this combo. Overall this deck seems super fun but super janky as you can tell. Like I said this has many paths to victory. Unfortunately when you play a deck that has many paths to victory that means there's no singular linear way to victory and sometimes that can spread yourself a little bit too thin especially if you don't draw into those combo pieces. But yeah thank you guys again so so much for taking the time out of your day to check this video out. I really, really appreciate it, guys. You guys are so awesome, and you've been so absolutely important in helping the Slayer's Den community grow. If you guys enjoy this video, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons for me because it does help me out a ton. Not only that, it allows YouTube to share this video and the rest of my videos with even more MTG fans out there, and that's super important because it allows me to grow the Slayer's Den community even further. So thank you guys again so, so much for your love and kindness and support. And without further ado, let's play some... Magic the Gathering. Hell Kraken. Okay, uh, sure. This is uh, not a terrible hand. Play planes versus Hell Kraken, man. All right, so we'll play this, and let me see. Swarm Shambler just gets more huge and more huge. See playing a uh, cleric of life spawn here. Why not? Why not indeed? We might be able to just do the game plan where we have something like a um, bunch of creatures. Opponent plays a bunch of creatures. Play a radiant scroll wielder and a veto. All of a sudden. Oh, okay. That was really weird. But uh, I guess it made sense. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna play an orator. I think I'm just going to play this as a red source here. That way we have the red source for rip apart. Kazandu Mammoth. You son of a gun. Alright. Um, play this planes and... Let's see. What if we just destroyed that? What if we just swung in for two? Because that's what we're going to do. Okay, second mammoth. 
sure. You got it, boss. Uh, we're gonna play second red. And we're just gonna go no attacks. Blizzard Ball. You son of a gun. Okay. They gain indestructible too, huh? Yeah. Alright, so we do no blocks. Because that's madness. Um, but we will do is... Let's see. Do we have an instant or sorcery here? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, sweet. So we're going to play a Radiant Scroll Wielder. And some life. And we'll play a Speaker of the Heavens. And we'll gain some more life. And we're just going to go next. Uh, sure. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, that's cool. So opponent flashes in a Wildborn Preserver. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go and destroy this. Play a Luminanc Esperant. Yes, let's go. Look at us, a couple of tryhards. Just ranking up. You and me, guys. You and me out there. We're just a couple of tryhards ranking up with our jank. This is okay, hand to keep. We've got a turn two aspirant. Just perfect against mono red. But uh no. Uh, it is what it is. So we'll get the um we'll get the aspirant in, and I think it might be okay. Ooh, guns against knights. Very knights. Nice. I can play a swamp and I think we're just gonna go next. And the turn. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Sure, 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 sure. Wonder if they have protection spells in knights. Wonder if they have it. Rimrock knight. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so they play a Rimrock. We take five. And a worthy knight. Okay. I see you. Uh, we're going to play a Righteous Valkyrie. And at least this way we can start gaining some life, hopefully. Okay. Mm hmm. What do they have that's white that could stop? Uh, let me see. It's seven. Alright, we do no blocks. That's fine. Play this. That. Play this. And no attacks. No attacks. And a venerable knight. Venerable quite. Okay, so. Let's play a mountain. And. Play Radiant Scroll Wielder number one. No attacks. Um, Embercleave could still do a number on us, unfortunately. Okay, but it doesn't look like they've got Embercleave, so that's kind of nice for us. Just gonna play out their whole hand. Okay. <clears throat> that's pretty sick. Yes! Let's go. Hervro's intervention could have been pretty good there, right? I feel like it could have. Alright, we'll go and keep this one because we do have turn 2 Aspirant, then a couple of saucy turn 3 plays here. We'll be playing essentially like Orzhov Cleric's life gain versus Jarakins. Okay, so opponent's thinking about it. All I'm thinking about is how we don't have a turn 1 play. We don't have many in this deck. Turn 2, Aspirant, Turn three, I guess we could go take a peek into the opponent's hand. Maybe um, slow down some kind of removal spell. So we have our we have our options for sure. Go and hold on to this one. Opponent is going first as well, so you hate to see it. All right, so opponent plays. Really, that's interesting. Okay, so we play a planes. Opponent went ahead and took three. It's a thieves guild. Okay, gotcha. Gross. All right, you suck. First of all, you suck. Second of all, you really suck. Third of all, 
you truly suck. But I think we just start playing threats, honestly. Like, I don't care if they counter every single one of my Luminarch Aspirants if it does mean that I do get to resolve an Elite Spellbinder. Um, Because Rogues, the thing about Rogues is that they have four Drown the Locks, maybe four of another counter spell. You have to imagine if we can get aggro going on, they're probably not going to have as much. Um, let's see. So let's go and play um, play the red. And we'll go and Spellbinder here. That leaves us open for an Aspirant the following turn. Maybe another two drop if we draw into something. But, you know, if they're relying on removal to, uh, to get rid of like another Luminarch by Elite Spellbinder here, we get to take a peek at their hands and we get to pluck out like, I don't know, like an Into the Story. But otherwise, we're just getting to waste Drown the Lock number two, another counter spell. Sure, sweet. That's perfect. That's two Drown the Locks. We're just gonna keep playing threats at this point. So. And I know oftentimes, you know, decks like this will just be looking for um, into the story to refill their hand. Uh, okay, so they do have most likely a handful of removals. So what I think we'll do is it's kind of dumb to play into this, but let's just go and play it. Veto. We'll play Veto, and then um, then we'll let them use their removal, like Heartless Act or whatever they got. Whatever you guys got for us, that's great. Two Drown the Locks is so saucy. Okay, so they skip their attack phase. Knowing full well. All right, so we're gonna play a swamp here, and yeah, we'll play we'll play the Luminarch Aspirant here. I wonder if they're running Mystical Dispute. So go to combat. Yeah, and I'll put a counter on Veto. Heartless Act makes it a little bit harder to get rid of that bad boy. Um, and we're gonna do no attacks in the turn. This might be a game where we need to resolve Scroll Wielder. And, <clears throat> oh man, okay, so, sure. We'll exile Scroll Wielder, or we resolve Scroll Wielder and then we Storm's Wrath. Might be something. Scroll Wielder, Perforos. It's good to know that we burn two of their counter spells here because that does make a huge difference. The opponent mills us for two. Take one. Take one for the team. Uh, sure. Let's play with the planes and... Sure, why not? We came to get down. And, uh, yeah, we'll swing it. Um, hmm. Okay. Let me see. We do. We could get rid of a Brazen Bar by exiling our own Veto. What do you think about that? I think that might be actually pretty good for us. So we exile Veto. <clears throat> that way their Brazen Borrower is dead. Then we play Veto number two. But I don't want them to have a like a 5-1 flyer. I don't have much. I could have also exiled the Brazen Borrower, but I don't know. I think you could have gone either way. I think you could have gone, let that resolve, bounce it to hand, recast it, they play that, and then we get to exile it. It's something. It's something to consider for sure. Ooh, okay. So they get to cast something. An elite spellbinder, okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. I guess we don't have very much going on anyway, so. <clears throat> okay. So they double block. Or not? And end the turn. They do have 10 power on the board. So what is this? Does damage a player? Okay, so we do have to block here. Go and place Temple of Deceit. Yeah, this has been kind of rough. It's been pretty rough, in fact. Okay, so we play planes and 
Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we bring back Luminarch and Righteous Valkyrie, I think? Question mark? Bring back a Righteous Valkyrie and a Luminarch Aspirant. Give our um, Valkyrie more power, or do I give Vito more power? I think I give uh, Valkyrie more power. And... Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. We'll swing in for two. Opponent may not have anything in hand, but at the very least we can stop a huge swing here. So they mill us for some mo. Block here. Merfolk Wind Robber. Well, that's active. They can sack and draw there. Um, yeah, so we'll play Speaker of the Heavens. That doesn't really do much. Gives us life, I suppose. Drain the opponent out. Uh, oh, okay. So if we do a double swing, Vito gets blocked out by Soaring Thought Thief. Righteous Valkyrie gets blocked by Merfolk Wind Robber. Uh, so we just do next. And we'll do no attacks in the turn. So if the opponent doesn't have removal or bounce, what we have is the ability to maybe burn the opponent out with Vito. It's a big if. That is a big if right here. Getting pretty anxious, actually, because it would be nice to beat a rogues deck, you know, with our janky Mardu combo deck, right? I think it'd be pretty sick. Okay. So they didn't even have a swamp to make that work. All right, so Trickster. Woof, okay, that's, that's actually not that bad. That's not that bad. All right, so we pass the blockers. Yeah, okay. They block here. Give them lifelink. Gain some life. Drain the opponent for one. Okay, okay. Uh huh. We could potentially gain some more life with a cleric of life's bond. You can also see Drown the Lock coming out. Drown the Lock number three. Okay. We gain two, we drain the opponent for two. We get a 3-3. Three, three. And we do no attacks. Opponent gets sack Wind Robber for an answer here. We have a few options. Rankle, okay. Sure. You got it, boss. I'll gladly block your rankle. Okay. So let's go here, first of all. We don't have any other flyers, so we do have to make some kind of decisions here. So we'll block here, and we take three, four, five, six, seven, sure. Okay. So we're at seven. Opponent has the ability to draw a card with Merfolk Wind Robber. Yeah, and we are fucked because we could do two, Get in. Yep. GG. Heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Israel. Okay. Well, look at us go. Look at us go. Okay. Temple of Silence. Uh, sure. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Let's play Luminoc Aspirant. Hopefully all the, the opponent has is like a Heartless Act or something like that. Elder Finds Apple. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's drop the um, let's drop the Extinction Event. The Grim Climb Pathway? Uh, sure. Opponent's more than happy to let us... Um, Kill their creatures, maybe they have graveyard recursion. The second one. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I'm starting to feel like maybe it's not really that big of a deal to have um, the thwart the graves here. Kinda need land. Alright, let's play um, let's play the uh veto here. Gain a life, drain the opponent for a life. Uh sure. I'll swing in for seven. 
I don't think like Call of the Death Dweller, we lose these two things, but that's three mana for them to bring back two things, two one ones, I guess. So not that big of a deal from what I can tell. And we just done the turn. Drawing dead on lands. Opponent is a little bit tough on lands as well, so uh yeah. Luckily, Vanishing Verse is dead to Cleric of Life's Bond. Heartless Act, okay. Opponent is on the struggle bus as well with us. Go play Vito, Thorn of the Dusk Rose, part two. Queen for five. There's land number three for the opponent. For the uh, Banishing Light. Murderous Rider, okay. Of course. Go down to three. Pretty risky, I'd say. What I got in here? Okay, so they have fourth land. Eat to extinction. Okay. Let's see if um, we can draw land six or land ho. Alright, Righteous Valkyrie. Answers for days, huh? Still out at a saucy 23 HP, and they're at one. So let's let's not go out like that. Let's not go out where the opponent has a whole bunch of shit. Oh, okay. Well, let's GG. GG opponents. Okay, so Turgrid was their only play there. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna mulligan here. And, man, fuck. Okay, we'll go and keep this one. And we'll drop a... Yeah, we'll drop the Shatter, because if we're going against a Yorion deck, that means it's not a creature deck, probably. It's probably a control deck. Play Planes. An annoying, like, Azorius control deck, if anything. Uh, let's go play Cleric of Life's Bond. Okay, let's go and swing in for Dose. Mountain and the Righteous Valkyrie. I guess I could have played that beforehand, but I didn't want it to. I didn't know what was happening here. I didn't know what was going on. Oh, okay. Oh man, how far do we want to overextend? Do we let them sweep us is the question. I guess there's really no sense in holding up Vito here. All right. So sweeper's incoming, at least we get a 2-2 back. It's probably our best shot. Then we have another Skyclave. A righteous Valkyrie, you say? Well, let's go and get rid of this. Swing for two. Play this as a black source. And we'll just end the turn. Sweet. So they take away our Valkyrie. And that's fine. It is what it is, right? Let's play Radiant Scroll Wielder. And we'll do no attacks. Sure. Go ahead and uh, vanishing verse this, I guess. Okay. Sweet. Eric of Life Spawned. And we'll do next. No attacks. End the turn. Omen of the Sun, you shy. Okay. Dream Trawler. Gross. You hate to see it. So we take four here. Still looking for a good old Storm's Wrath. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. We could kill Yorion. Um. Yeah, let's kill Yorion. Oh, wait. I should do way more than that. Okay, so that's 
One, two, three, four, five. So we actually do ten. Ooh, that's pretty saucy. Alright, let's do ten to Yorion. And then we'll do no attacks. One of opponents only running negate here. One gains three, draws a card. We have four mana left. Drew a land. Hold the multiverse. Okay. So, Storm's Wrath. You gotta give me Storm's Wrath here. Come on, deck. Draw another card. But they're tapped out, essentially. There isn't anything that they can cast that would don't think would save them right here. Okay, so Perforos. Okay. So that's six times two. We could do twelve to them potentially. This one's tough. Alright, play the mountain. Do twelve to that. Okay, swing for everything. That should be lethal, right? Because he can block two. No, not really. Not quite lethal. Yeah. Um, so what it does is it gives us Veto Lifelink. When it draws. Gain some life. Alright. This is a lifelink, so they would be at 12. They could have another omen of the sun, which would kind of suck. Huh. Alright. Let's go for it. Oh yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh man, that was so sick. Vito and uh, Radiant Scroll Wielder doing some work together. The, um, the Perforos intervention was crazy, right? I was draining the opponent for 12 each time. Pretty nice. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll keep it. Playing first, always a nice feeling. Um, you know, like I was saying, I hate to like be like that guy who complains about RNG and stuff like that, because there's really no point most of the time, but I'm letting you know my opinion, and it is that on the play, you're naturally going to have a way better time, a way better feel. Um, yeah, we'll play a Righteous Valkyrie here, gain some life, swing in for three. I think it is like 60-40, honestly. With the current meta, mostly. They're gonna run into jank decks like this, Quandrix, like. Chances are probably a lot higher on the play or on the draw. Okay. Opponent gets to look for a land card. Sweet. Brutiful, brutiful. Guys are gonna play this, and... Let's play a Veto. Drain the hell out of the opponent with our Veto Righteous Valkyrie combo already. Um, let's do no tax. Let's see if we can get the good old Radiant Scroll Wielder action going on. How do we bounce even? You can see them bouncing. That's fine. Don't bounce me, man. We need a red mana and our Radiant Scroll Wielder. Can we do it? I'd love to see it happen against Infiltrator. Okay, um, not quite. Let's play Cleric of Life's Bond. Oh, Kidoki. Why did you do that? Double, double denial. Okay. I see you. And, uh, yeah. I'll swing in for four. 
I'll swing in for four. Double decisive denial on us. That's uh, that's a tough one. But they probably figured that we would have non-creature spells. Which we do. Got a handful of them. Kazondium Mammoth. You son of a gun. Alright. I think this is our game. This is our game to win and or to lose. Play this. Sure. I'll swing in. One is down to five. Would love to veto. Journey to the Oracle, okay. They're almost to um, Jodzy mana. They're definitely at like Ugin mana or whatever the hell. But they're, um, I think they're dead. Looking like you're dead. Okay. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so Thort the Grave brings back Vito. We gain three, we drain three, and then we swing in. Super lethal, super fun. GG to the opponent. Alright, folks, this is like the perfect place to end today's video, and I had a lot of fun playing this deck. Radiant Scroll Wielder makes for some fun games for sure. Um, Radiant Scroll Wielder with Perforos Intervention, super cool. Uh, Radiant Scroll Wielder with Storm's Wrath on a board full of creatures with the Veto, even cooler. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Now, do I recommend you building this deck? You're probably gonna have to have the cards if it's worth playing because honestly the deck kind of struggles against a lot of different decks um control kind of wrecks it overall i had a lot of fun playing it i love the idea of the combo and i also just enjoy playing mardu mardu is super fun so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this one thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to check this one out i really really appreciate it you guys are so awesome and if you do enjoy it please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons for me because it does help my channel out a ton it also allows youtube to share this video and the rest of my videos with even more MTG fans out there. And that just helps me grow the Slayer's Den community. So thank you guys again so, so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Slayers.